there's a, a rabbit on the head of the goat. And I had that goat in my studio for many years and when, with the rabbit on top. And, and when Mike Kelly died, we didn't know each other well, but uh, he was fascinated with stuffed animals. And uh, so I thought I'd make some paintings for him and uh, superimpose the goat with the rabbit inside of this image of DeFore wallpaper from 1850 that had George Washington accepting Cornwallis's sword, but I digitally removed the men in the paintings where you just have this goat standing in this landscape, but essentially there's a goat standing in this middle of this wallpaper. It's almost as if it was a diorama from the Museum of Natural History, in a sense, or but that's just the ground, and then I painted different forms on that. I was thinking about, say, the sky of illimitableness. If you stood under the sky and witnessed the beginnings, its end, and its uh, comings and goings, and the whole material beauty you can see in a moment as it's shifting. And it, I was reading about uh, that in this book, The Hand of Dante by uh, Nick Tosh. And so I thought I'd call them Under the Sky of Illimitableness. Um, I think that had more to do when I was putting purple stains on those in the first ones and then it sort of evolved into these last three paintings that I wouldn't describe them too much. I mean, let people look at them and see what they see in them. <laughs>